Well, hello everybody and welcome back. Welcome back to the world of OMSI 2, where today we're going to be driving on a freeware Belgian map by the name of Villamol, and this is version 0.10 or 0.10. Uh, it is a fictitious map and it's downloadable from here if I just bring over the website. So this is where you will be downloading it from. I shall leave a link in the description for you. But this is where you get it from. Villamol 0.10 and it says Villamol is a thick fictional Belgian map that was created in OMSI 1 so it just goes to show how old this is uh, in 2012 but then it started again from scratch in OMSI 2 following a fatal error uh, map programmed in beta release since its beginnings the map has evolved a lot with even more numerous lines and uh, it goes on a bit more on the description these are all the lines that you've got now this is the first time I've downloaded the map, I never had it during the early days. There's quite a few lines there and this is the recent change log. Now if you've not had the map before, this is where you will click to got all the things that you need. Alright, so that's the main map. The splines, the objects, or the scenery objects as they are, and there's a hotfix. You don't need this unless you've already got the previous version 0.9 and that looks like it updates it to 0.10. These links are very good, they take you uh, directly, I think if I remember rightly, directly to the uh, place where you get them from or it downloads them the moment you've clicked these links. It's very user friendly, this one. Uh, these are the vehicles that you need, now I don't know if they're actually, um, what's the word? It's imperative that you get these. This Van Who Gen, that's freeware, that's available on Steam, and that's free, so you can download that one. Well, they're all free actually, but this one is uh, from Steam. Uh, this is the man EUL272 and the Cetra. I'm not sure if they're like used for AI buses or not. This one here is an actual tram. Um, I'm not sure if it's drivable or not, or whether it's used for AI. But anyway, that's where you get that from, nice and simple. Very easy install, so let's get straight into it. Okay then, so the bus I'm going to select for this journey is the little Iris bus GX127 and the uh, livery I've chosen for it is the Tech, which is apparently a real Belgian bus company. I don't know too much about it, but um, yep, I've got a livery for that as well. So we're gonna use this. Uh, we only need a tiny bus on this route because it's not very busy at all and it's only about 15 minutes long. So uh, this is going to be perfect for what we need. So there we go, so we've got the Iris bus GX127, we've cho chosen the tech livery and our depot is Villamol. And we want to make sure that we're going to be starting off at the museum, route 11. Right, so here we are then, we've got our bus, our nice little midi bus, our Iris bus GX127 with the tech livery. And despite it being a summer's day in June, it's rather wet and rainy and rather miserable looking. Okay, all right then, so let's get set up. So let's see if we can get a route, shall we? So we're on route 11. We are actually at the museum and we want to go to Valier, so let's see what we can get. Daff Museum, going to Valley, Valley. Can't pronounce these words. What's that, the 1325? Wow, it's only half past 11. Is there anything going a bit before then? 12.05, that looks like the one maybe. The one before that. Oh, we've missed the 11.25, alright then, so we're going to take the 12.05, we'll do that one, okay, let's click OK. Yep, replace the bus that would have been doing the job. And hopefully my timetable should be up there now, have a look. Yeah, it's only a little run, 
a nice little run this 12.05 to 12.30 so um, uh, sorry 12.16 yeah so not long at all so that's what we're going to be doing let's get back so let's start our bus up that's what she looks like on the inside this is a uh, payware DLC by the way, this is not a freeware bus it's a bus that comes with one of the um, the Iris bus DLCs I think this was like a little bonus they chucked in there I can't remember what the DLC is called but it's part of a, a, a broader package of buses alright we've got that running, let's get the engine on Set up then. Now, if I remember rightly, this was 229 for our number, a bus uh, conductor number or service number. Just let that load up. Well, I love the sound of the rain on the roof of the bus. There we go, we're going to click service and this is where you can put any number you like in well why not put number 11 in since that's the route that we're on and just let it load and there we are, it's done automatically for us a bit confused there yeah it's sort of like upside down we're going from the museum up to the museum. so we could let's check the um, destination blind there's number 11 on the back oh nice it all works what's this one doing this is number five that's number five oh, number 11 they actually look pretty eh nice livery really nice ok right so we are 30 minutes let's get some lights on first yep that will do it is daytime so we don't need the full set of interior lights on so that will do uh, what else do we need to do? I think we're almost set. Let's get the ticket machine on. We're not going to use it, but we'll put it on anyway. Click that. Let's put a four digit number in. One, two, three, four. Anything will do. That didn't seem to work, did it? That's it. And there we go, Daff Museum is our first stop. So, a nice easy setup on that. Right, let's fast forward time then because uh, we're so early. So we're due to depart in 29 minutes. seem to go right, we've still got five minutes to go and I can't try, um, yeah we'll do another bit more, so 12 there we go, two and a half minutes, by the time we get round the corner Pick up. Right, let's get our wipers on. Let's get some lights, headlights on. Nice. That's set up to get my track IR on, my head tracking. And 
we are going to go now. And break off. Uh, it would help if I did decent drive, wouldn't it? Right, let's go. So we've got to go around on that side. Like I said, it's not a very busy route, it's really quiet, this one is. Right, passengers are moving, that's a good sign. Means we're all set up correctly. Now there are announcements on this route that they don't announce every single stop and the timetable on this is really tight as well. But when I'm in Omsi I just like to take my time, drive safely. all day. What a lovely little bus this is. What have we got? 12 o'clock. It's just after 12 midday, but it looks really dark and grey. This is not real weather today. I've picked um, preset weather in OMSI. There's not many people drive in the rain, do they, in OMSI? I thought it'd make a change. Look at the wet reflections on the road, fantastic. Can't beat OMSI for a bus simulator. In my opinion, this is still the best one ever going. Right, we're coming up to our first stop. Second one. Yep, somebody there getting on.
really is a cracking map this is. And what a lovely route this one is, number 11. And the performance is fantastic, no issues with uh, stuttering or anything on this one. The only problem is this little GX127 bus, it just about manages hills. I can just about get away with it on this route using this bus. It's not very really powerful. There we go, there's our first announcement. Yeah, she's useless when it comes to getting up hills. So if you've got to stop on a hill, Hello. Then, then forget it, this bus will just roll back. But I can get away with it on this one just about. Because you only need a little midi bus on this route. I didn't want to take anything too big out. do I want to move my uh my dashboard up and bring it forward a bit that's it yeah that'll do This road reminds me of um, the default Spandau map when you get to Falcon Z. residential route this one is. Right, 
Let's give it some welly because we've got to get up the hill. <laughs> you watch this. Foot down. Go on, girl. You can do it. You can do it. Get up there. If I had to stop on that hill, say there was a little bus, a bus stop there, I think I would have been stuffed. Misty as well, doesn't it? We're all nice and cosy in our bus. How many passengers have we got on board? About four or five? Not many. Told you it was a quiet route. Prochain arrêt, Rollin. Serving all the little residential areas. Wow, it really is a grey, miserable day on this one. What a nice relaxing route this one is. I 
I think this one is very realistic in terms of numbers of passengers because all we've done is really serve the little um, housing estates as it were. Four minutes late, taking me time. Whoa! Here we are, this is the last stop. Now we go. And we shall stop just here. Museum if you wanted to do the return trips have a look yeah so it's really turned automatically for us but even though we were four minutes late look that's the beauty of it we're not due out now if we were going to do the return trip we're not due out until 12.30 which means we've got nine minutes now shut the doors up Wipers off. An indicator off. Is it? Well, I've got nine minutes, so I'll probably sit in the back here, get my flask out of my bag, and have a cup of tea until I do the return journey. Right, there we are then, chaps. Hope you enjoyed that. That was Route 11 on the Villamol 0.10 updated map. And we went from Daff Museum to Villamol and this is the return trip if you wanted to go back to the Daff Museum. So I shall be back again sometime, I don't know when, and we'll do one of the other routes on this. Until next time, take care, cheerio, and bye for now.